Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. So good to be together. And uh, this is day number 14 of the 40 Day Worship Challenge. And I'm excited to be together. I love to say our shields are linked. And I uh, just want this to be this time to be an encouragement to your devotional time, to your time alone with God. And uh, welcome those that are coming on. Awesome to be together. So appreciate everyone and appreciate what God's doing in your life and, and through your life. God's doing something so new. And, and our shields are linked. I have my mug here. It says together. I have my other mug that says uh, stronger. And we are stronger together. And I just wanted to make a little point here that during the early part of this 40-day worship challenge, we're on day 14. If you feel like something's detoxing or God's working on something or he's removing something or he's uh, something's happening inside of you that's releasing something out of you, just let the process, let God remove because He, whatever he takes out, He's got a plan to put in. And I just want to encourage if you're feeling like those changes are happening or something is, 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 uh, I just, I got the word detox. If something negative is being removed, well, let that, let the Lord, let the Holy Spirit remove that and bring into our hearts that which is new. I'm always amazed when I go through these 40 day worship challenges what God begins to work on inside of my heart. And I'm sure that he's working on something inside your heart. And it's beautiful. It's as we surrender our will over to his, our heart over to his, our hearts are like a garden. And God wants to work in the, in the context of our heart, in the context of our garden. Sometimes he's rototilling. Sometimes he's planting. Sometimes we're watching amazing productivity. Sometimes he's clearing out new areas and trees and stumps are being removed because he wants to bring about expansion and growth. We just want to open up to let the Holy Spirit do whatever he wants to do. We're talking about the five essentials to our first thought in the morning. This is so critical and how it changes the trajectory of our day. And the first essential was setting our affections on the things above and looking heavenward. The second one was fixing our gaze on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And I just put down here, riveting our eyes on Jesus. He's right there. He waits up all night for us to get up so that he can minister to our hearts and, and we can be with him. The third essential to our first thought in the morning was to surrender our will over to God's will and 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 give God com the give the Holy Spirit complete control of our life giving him complete control I can't wait to get there to surrender because I know what happens in my life when I'm in control and and so it's so good it feels so right to just surrender our heart over to his the fourth essential to our first thought in the morning was casting our cares on the Lord. And that's found in 1 Peter 5, 7. Uh, to cast our cares on the Lord because he cares for us. And I wanted to spend one more day on cast, maybe one or two, I don't know. But I wanted to spend another day on casting our cares on the Lord. Uh, and, and just knowing that God cares about us. He cares about us intimately. I had this thought this morning, abiding in intimacy and walking in clarity. That's what God does. As we abide in him in intimacy, we walk out our day in clarity. But this is what we're talking about. And, and before they turn, and I wanted to say, uh, I wanted to say that, that anxieties and fears and things come at us in the morning, we have these thoughts, concerns about the day. All these things start pressing our mind. And the word cast there means to throw them on the Lord. And so when we first wake up and these things try to crowd in, we want to throw them on the Lord or cast them on the Lord. We want to give them to the Lord. And we know the things we're thinking about and worried about or concerned about are the things we care about. 
And we know God cares more. But I wanted to say, before this fear center, before that anxiety center in us can get activated in our heart and a cascade of negative thoughts and feelings come in and grip us, before that, right before that, before any kind of, of concern can turn into a worry or an anxiety can turn into a fear, a, a greater fear or a fear can turn into a phobia, before a cascade of negative thoughts occur, we're going to stop. At that first concern, that first thought, we're going to set that, throw that, give that, cast that onto the Lord. And uh, this is literally what this passage is telling us to do. He wants us to do that. He's excited that we'll give him those things, that we'll cast those things on him. And, and let's do this. Let's just do this in the morning. We're going to turn our cares, and this is the next part I want Want, want you to listen to this. I just believe this is this is so amazing what we can do. Let's turn our cares and concerns in the morning into a prayer. A prayer is a weapon in your armor. Let's turn all cares and concerns into prayers. Instead of that worry being a weapon against you, which it often is, worry, fear, it's a weapon against us. Fear brings paralysis and it paralyzes us in situations. Faith brings us and lifts us into action. And we want to turn that concern into a prayer and, and into a laser-focused prayer. It can be this simple, and I want to give you just something very practical, Dave. When you wake up and you're practicing the five essentials to our first thought, and a negative or toxic thought comes into your mind, practice these simple prayers, and I'm going to give them to you. They're so simple. Jesus, I give you that concern, and name it. Just say, Jesus, I give you that concern. I'm concerned about that, and I throw that on you. I give you that, and name it. Say, Jesus, I give you that worry. When you've got a worry there, and you, you're, you're, you can feel the pressure of that, just give it to Jesus and name it. Just give him that worry. Say, Jesus, I give you that fear. If you have a fear that's gripping you and it's been even long standing or you notice it's been around for a while, throw that onto the Lord, name it, and just give that to the Lord. Je say, Jesus, I give you these anxious thoughts. When you feel those anxious thoughts, you don't even know what they are, but you just can feel adrenaline rushing in your system and anxiety beginning to, to, to try to move in. Just say, Jesus, I give you those anxious thoughts. I even give you these anxious feelings. I don't even know maybe what they are, but I'm giving them to you, Lord, and I name them the best I can. And then say, Jesus, I give you that situation. Sometimes it's all around a situation or a circumstance that you're going through. Just say, Jesus, I give you that situation. I give you that circumstance and name it. Just give it to him. Now, in, in, in you, you keep, if you keep doing this every morning, you're going to experience a transformation in your heart and in your mind. And the trajectory of your day will change. The act of giving these over to God, the act of giving them over to uh putting them in his hands, it is the process of growing trust in our heart. It's the process of trusting God with our life. These concerns you have are part of your life. And giving them over to God is the process of trusting him. It's growing that root of trust down deep into the soil of God's love. And it's, it's opening up your life. As you're giving him those things and you're casting them on him, be receiving his love, his care. Be receiving the grace that is available to you. And you've entrusted those things with the Lord as prayers. And you're going to watch what he does as you have prayed those prayers because answers are going to come. We don't know exactly when, but we know if we launch a prayer, that the answer is going to come. We don't always know how and we don't always know when, but we know it will. And that's what's so exciting about this. 
that we're actually turning our anxieties into prayers. The enemy isn't going to like this. If you begin to turn your, your, the things he's used as weapons against you into weapons of prayer, launching prayer to the Lord, and answers are going to start coming in those situations and circumstances because you're casting them on the Lord. The enemy's going to stop bothering you with these because what he's used as an, a weapon against you, now you're using as a weapon against him by simply throwing those onto the Lord. This is so powerful what's going to happen. And remember then, our, our heart's going to begin to receive his love and that activates faith. And it destroys fear. So the, 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 the product of, of casting our cares on the Lord is receiving his love. And then that's activating our faith for the day and destroying fear. Man, I'm telling you, God is on the move by now. And you might have only been up for five minutes. And already the dynamic of the Holy Spirit is releasing fresh faith into your heart. And God is about ready to move mountains in that day. And you're going to see God do something extraordinary. That is what the Paul, that's what Paul prayed in Ephesians 3, 16 and 17. I pray, and this is my prayer for you. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. That's what's going to happen as we practice these five essentials. He's going to, uh, He's going to empower us with inner strength through the Holy Spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you, here it is, trust in him. That's what we're doing by casting our cares on the Lord. We're trusting in him. And he's going to do something amazing with those prayers. I'm telling you, he's going to move mountains. You're going to see extraordinary things happen. Remember, don't put a timetable on it. And don't put an expectation on it. Put your expectation in the Lord and watch God move in your day. You're going to see things happen that are going to be amazing. Well, this is awesome. And then it says, your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. This is all about God's love being shed abroad in our heart, being released in our heart, doing something brand new in our heart every morning. We can cast our cares on the Lord. Well, our time is fleeting again. I want to read you day 14, Psalms 33, 15 to 22. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all, for all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from the depths, he, he rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord. For our hope is in you alone. Our trust is in God. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for each one listening now. Those that will come on later, we link shields all around on this time together. And Father, we just want today to cast our cares, concerns, worries, fears, anxieties, situations, circumstances, we want to throw them onto you. And Lord, we want to, and we want to turn them actually into a prayer where you will move mountains in those situations. You will bring about outcomes that will bring you glory. You will begin to open up new doors for us. You'll begin to release your power into those situations, all for your glory. We want to trust you today. Put our confidence in you. We give you the glory. We honor you today. Bless each one that is listening, Lord. Let their heart and life be strengthened. Let their roots go down deep into your love. Father, let there be a grace and a favor and a blessing on each one today. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Well, I just want you to enjoy your time alone with God. That, this is just a primer to that time, just an encouragement to that time. And have an amazing day. And I'll see you again tomorrow on day number 15. God bless you.